Well, hello, everybody. This is Carl. Welcome to Aeronautica. And just now, there's a new update, version 1.134. I've just announced the chat that I'm here. And let's read the change logs. And... All right, so here we are. The Kanamori, or should I say this in Japanese? Kanamori K70. K200, and K100, K200F, where's the 200? <laughs> you forgot the 200. Yeah, 200F, where's, yeah, alright, so, the English Electric F1, the Fokker F26, and the drones, if you've been following the Trello, the Predator and the Reaper. And... Alright, Avalon class gets replaced by the B Delta class. And then the Everest gets replaced by the NG254 class. Reliance from Empire. So, Najmi and Yorkshire has remodeled the Panavia Tornado. Oh. Let me announce the chat. And then... Alright, so... Well, Ossie has remodeled the Topol 2 Shift Not Sit. And there is a word of warning here. Theo has remodeled the Antonovan Twisted, what's that, Piat Mria. And Rice just updated the Space Jet M90. Lower part of the notes Hoftanus Regional Airport has been replaced with Aktanus. And if you remember, Hoftanus is the other aircraft right beside Oscar Floy, the pseudo Keflavik. And Rowaki Island has been remodeled as well. So the the leaderboard exactly right will be updated, you'll see. Then the logo lights feature. Then B29, B17 get bombers, get weather hunting jobs. The Aeronautican, you know, the one the that requires a supersonic jet license, has been moved from the underground mill show estate of Tom's. <laughs> The killing with aircraft hangar to line him. And the moon with a face. The jack o' lantern has been replaced with the high definition images sort by Who Hacked Me? They have recolored the continent of. Oh uh, no, not Asuka. Oh yes, Asuka, the one with Kaplavik and uh, the former Hoftanis. The one that looks like Iceland. Then some livery changes. That's a lot. And six new loading screens. Alright, let me get my notepad and Once again, it's version 1.134, number 134.
Alright, I'm announcing in the chat that I'll be going to a server, and let's get the earliest one right here. And I got my badge! Nice. Remembrance Day 2023. And another one. Should be at the former Hotanis, and it's. Wow, this chat is even better. Alright, so. Yes, I was in the job on this French Concorde. Is there any new jobs? Let me announce the chat. Okay. Oh, great. It seems that the <laughs> yes, beside my name, I already have the co the registration. That's that's an improvement. All right, so there's no yellow ready job to find. So let's end here at Linwood. All right. Let's overhaul the Concorde. And it's Purple Rarity. So, first aircraft, or drone, our first. It's, yeah, military drone. It's only cost like 5,700 wings points. Should have cost it more though. Yeah. Alright, so what's color one? Color one is the body. So let's make a military aircraft gray. Color two is the wings. Okay, aircraft gray, 163. I guess this should be shade of black. Or you can just make it all gray. So here's the MQ-1B Predator. Unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The heads up display. The memory, the uptime, the knots. And that's that. So let's check the database. And for this blue rarity vehicle, it's convertible, the MQ-9 Reaper. And just use this aircraft white. So here's the General Atomics MQ-1B. And here's the MQ-9. And... <laughs> how many more crate 
planes. <sighs> we have too much of these great planes. Just could have made a convertible instead. Right, so on to Good K Airport for our next plane. And it's Blue Rarity. The experimental jet, rather a prototype, the Fokker F 26 Phantom. How do they call it number 26 in Dutch? A dark aircraft gray. The Phantom. It's typical of Warrior. Where did the doors go? <laughs> All right, the Fokker F twenty six Phantom. Oh, yes. Oh, really? The fairings are still. Yep. Most of the livery craft, especially the wings, the fairings, still a mix of gray. All right, let's go to Lynham Air Force Base and remember this the badge craft. Aircraft from a badge, the Sea Hornet. And here is the English Electric Lightning F1. A light aircraft gray. Let me repeat to the chat. Some players have came in. The Lightning F1. British Ingenuity. The Aeronautican on Tom's legitimate aircraft hangar to this little military base, still requiring the supersonic transport license. Not recoding. That was the Lightning F1. Check my notes again. Hmm, I remember someone training me. What's that? Zhou Dai Zhang. Here it is, the NG-254 class. How does this compare? The level of artistry is beyond me. <laughs> this big boy. <laughs> Oh, really? 
Someone wants to buy the new plane. No livery capability just yet. Right, so let's check the aircraft core. So, core one is the the deck area. The red is the floor, the roof, and core three is really the hull. All right, so let's see the other two new boats in here. The, here's the NG254. Here's the B Delta class bolt carrier. And it's upgraded from the Fitzgerald Great Lakes. I wish the Great Lakes class should have their own. Yes, they should replace the Fitzgerald class with something that connects both this bull carrier and the other bull carrier. The starter... What was the starter bull carrier again? Uh, Apollo. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah... Yeah, I suggest the creators should actually make another... <laughs> Laker-class... Freighter. Just for the purpose of uh, sailing, up, sailing them on rivers. <laughs> this is not like a like sea bound or anything. Yeah. This is meant for the lake, not the sea or ocean. But yes, yeah, something. Yeah, some. This one should be replaced by another <laughs> ocean bound carrier, and then the Lakers could have their own class. Maybe this is the upgrade, or yeah, either this can be the basic level Laker, or just the upgraded Laker. And here is the Reliance class container ship. Oh, I have yes, I, I I'm about to have one actually. Where's the Okay, it's not uh, Let me. Oh, I should just. I just erase the search. Ocony. So. All right. Here is the Reliance class container ship. So we get to the maintenance, and you need six logged hours. But I don't want to upgrade this ship. I already have a NG two fifty four. Right, airline colors. So the color one is the roof of the bridge and then the rear. Color two is the floor. And color three, the hull. All right then. That's all for the three new ships for boat class requiring the boat license. Mm -hmm. What's next? All right, so where's the two ships not set? Okay, it's at Novorovsk. So the remodeled to Polyev to Shetsnovset, the NATO reporting name of Badger. Notice any difference? It also has advanced customization. This is for the original Badger. You can have a change of nose.
and you can also arm it with the Radada K Shes S. No, not Shes. It's the Raduda K Disyat S. I said six, not ten. It's ten is Disyat in Russian. Now it's a Badger C with a bombing armament. <laughs> bombing armament. The two ships not set. The TU 16. Okay, I try have not tried to craft yet an on Dwisid what's that piat, but but let's just check it at the database or database, however you like to pronounce it. So the newly remodeled Antonov on Dwisid what's that piat Maria. Newly remodeled or just adds. Yes, it already has advanced liveries. You could put the Baran. <laughs> I guess you can you can add the Baran transport. Or yes, yeah, spaceship. Yeah, you can add a Baran, or you could add some cargo in it. But yes, you can add advanced liveries. You can make it the during the Soviet era or the modern Antonov Airlines very <laughs> livery. Yes. Yes, the, the Soviet or Antonov Airlines. The red and gray or white, blue and yellow. The remodeled Antonovan Zvistid Watsat Piat Maria. The Antonov AN 225. Dream. Now for the space jet. And my epic one is at Casio Doko. Right, so still has the old Nippon Airways livery and and the wing ID still in still needs some work. Oops, should be maintenance. Alright, so The MRJ, old name. If you know the liver ID for the space jet with the pattern on the vertical stabilizer, yeah, that space jet house livery, the Mitsubishi logo, please put it in the comments. So let me see the plain one here. So here's the other. Oh, it's Sud Alpen. This has the Sud Alpen. Okay, Bella Body. Here. So here's without the <laughs> livery. So color one is the body. Color two is the trim on the tail area and the wings. How consistent. The number of concurrent players have been oh great. That's less space.
Yes, collar three is the vertical stabilizer in the tail area. Unmanned aerial vehicles. Yeah, those two drones. So that was the Space Jet M90. So where, where is Octanus? The new here it is. So to get plane the Alright, so this is the K70. And they're all just gather up here. At the newly done Asuka, the pseudo Iceland. So here we are at Octanus Regional Airport. Hmm, this is based on another Icelandic airport. Oh, look what we have here. <laughs> Boarding stairs. What a nice addition. Now look at that. <laughs> Ryanair, really? They only have 737s. 737s. How original. So here's the K70. This is the digital structure to the K100. Advanced customization. You can you can use the CFM International and or Proud and Whitney, which is the default, which will be a future good use when they remodel the Airbus A321 Neo because they use both of these engines. Of course, that the CFM is only for the yeah, the leave engine is like it's for the 737 Max. Yeah, the 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 K70 has the nose of the Airbus A220, the window of the A320 Neo family, the engines of both Airbus and Boeing. The split tip shimitar of the Boeing 737 MAX and later iterations of the 737 Next Generation, most likely the 800, the virtual stabilizer of the Airbus, and that's about that. That's the. Kind of worry, how do you get which one is which? Where is K? So K two hundred, that's the the one hundred thousand visits plane, or was it favorites? It should be visits, not favorites. The K seventy, that's also for the same reason. Convertible, convertible. So this is the K one hundred. Now it looks definitely like the Boeing 787 9, Max 9. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 36. That's That looks like a Max 8. Are they going to actually remake the Max 9? Allow them to <laughs> add more planes. It's, so this is the 200, which is 41. That's like A321 Neo. Probably an Icelandic, another Icelandic airport. Hmm. All right, and here's the 200F.
Right, so in order, here's the 70 from the badge, the 100, the upgrade, the 200, another badge, 200F, that's your upgrade. Right, so we've covered the Kanamori series, so original <laughs> aircraft. Check. All right, so what's next on the list? The Panavia Tornado. It seems I have one at Eisenhardt Municipal. Where is it? Here it is. The Panavia Tornado. But which variant? It has advanced customization. Center line, you can uh, the pave way, lightning pod. Or Sky Flash. Sensors, you can add a sensor suite. In the inner wing, you can add some drop tacks and air to air missiles. Or you can add, are these land based missiles? Hmm. Okay, so the lighter ones are probably air to air missiles and the land. And the outer wing, you can it's a pod of some sort of. Is, this, is it also for fuel? And the most noticeable, this is the the IDS. You can also upgrade it to the ADV with a spiky point. Just the nose is being changed here. And there's a, this should be for refueling, I guess. The refueling fixture is gone. What's this? It's like no change, there's no change. All right, so let's test this tornado out to so the Tiki operates the air brake or air brakes and the Y key the swept weights the variable sweep rather And that's that. Anavia Tornado. Is there a function for the refueling pod? Yep, nothing for the refueling probe. A220 max. <laughs> Alright then. Let's overhaul this. Alright, let's have a brief look of Oscar Floy. If there's any change to this, then I'm gonna use this Iceman thing. What a change. So it's really a high temperate climate. It's not snowing all over. As intended.
yes, the coming holiday, this might. So in the coming holiday season, it will become winter again, and snow will fall over. <laughs> so this is the content, yeah, pseudo Keflavik. And they've. Looks even better. <laughs> And I hope they fix the issue on the taxiing and any tripping. This is pseudo Oscar. <laughs> pseudo Oscar. Yes. The Oscar Fly International Pseudo Keflavik. Now for the other part, the seaplane base. We'll use this. Is there any change to this? I guess there's none. And Frostenwolle? Yeah, Frostenwolle. Whoa. I see. Crash site. The airfield looks more noticeable now. That's Frozen Villa. That's all of Aska, the pseudo Iceland. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Rawaki International and see what changed. What should we be using? St. Louis or an XF 11? Let's try this one. Still a flat island. Now there's some parking areas. And there's the Aunt Visi Piat with a Buran. <laughs> Expected that. So, Rawaki has the uh, control tower group, there's a terminal, still a flat island though. Lighthouse? Yeah, there should be improvement on the edge. Yeah, more slope. Yeah, we need something for beaching gear to put seaplanes to the island for repair. There's a... What do you call this? Is this a research center? And the jack o' lanterns are still at their original places. Rawaki Island. And more rocks. This can be improved further, though. Sand, yeah, slope needs to be sloped. Music still the same? Yep, it's still the same. 
And here's the Soviet livery. And come on, you should taxi. Why are you? Ah. A hanger, you can. The improved Rowaki Island. Still need room for improvement, as before. All right, the logo lights. Let's use a 767. We'll go to Umabutsu International for that. Still not yet night. Let's see if it works. So let's select this Japan Airlines 767. Here are the concurrent players. No one needs my attention just yet. All right, so let's spawn our <laughs> Skulky. How do you turn on the tail lights? Really, how do you turn on the tail lights? Okay, TNY, that's the doors. Oh. <laughs> really, how do you activate the tail lights? Put the key to Oh, I just turned on the engines. So, I O P. What other keys haven't pressed yet? G for the landing gear. O for the lights. C. B. Is it M? M is the map. Hmm. Uh, let me check the chat. Alright, I'm asking how do you toggle the tail lights? Fat, really. Typical space. Or we can just wait at night. Oops. Or maybe they, it will just be activated at night, as intended. Sure, I can come back to this. Oh, an Ilyushin. Ilstor. 
set of not such store. Yeah, sure, I can come back <laughs> at the night. Okay, there's no advanced livery yet. So let's see what are the liveries added to this little here. So, A220, A230, Dreamliner. Mm -hmm. La Premiere. <laughs> That's right. Hmm, speaking of which, Fanax. Oh yes, the seven four seven four hundred. Let's go to Meihua. Check the advanced deliveries. So FedEx delivery. It's this should be let's say November Charlie or NC two eight six three. And this is the the Boeing converted freighter variant. That's, and we got another one. It's another converted freighter, Avivo. There's the cargo door. And there's the Kami variant. Overdue, but here it is. There's the cargo door. No other combis. Oh yes, the FedEx, right. You'll see the big difference there. Here's Anhe let's let's look at the anhedral, the anhedral. This has not been updated in a while. Anhedron. I wish they would make history of this little why anhedral and hedron is this related to a, a an old British airline perhaps? All right, yes. So we're going back to Fenex. Take a note of this, 2863. Because we're going to look at the freighter 400F. Where did I put 400F? Norman, I guess? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, also at Ubutsu. Oh, great. So. Here it is, the 400F. And let's see what this has. It's 2863. Hmm. Right, 2863. 2863. 2863 don't and yes <laughs> come on <laughs> your lore list only has 
mostly converted freighters. This is also two eight six three. What's what's going on here? Oh, the sun is about to set. All right, so let's see if the tail lights are activated at the night time. So where's the loops through again? Uh, forgot to refuel and overload. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm going to despawn this. Oh. All right. Will it have their tail lights? Right, ten game minutes. Alright, the moon's out, and it's no longer that, come on, it's still no light, Ugh. I already activated L, wait, wait, oh, here it is, nice, great, oh, double tap, ah, Oh, Hikari. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Utsukushi, kire. Kono Hikari wa. Alright, so this is Migi, Shitari, right, left. Look at that. Look at this. Boeing seven six seven three hundred ER. Mobile issues. Oh yes, the moon. <laughs> okay, so this is the waxing gibbous. All right, so let's go to Casio and check on the M90. And the same goes. The Hidari. See those black specks? More noticeable, there's less. 
Oh, oh, there's specs already also on the right. Oh. <laughs> Look at the angle. More specs. And that's the space jet, or in this manner, the regional jet. Basically, a failed financial opportunity. Alright, the MS Love Start Odin. So, let's teleport to Leavets for. Okay, Casio and then Leavets. The MS Love Start Odin, so. Let's. Teleport to this. With the problem with the engines. And see if it goes as intended. And there's it. There it is. Landing lights. The L key. And it automatically lights at night. The MS What's that Ori? Three star. No, yeah, three star, yeah. Three hundred. And on that note, let's end this video by, um, listening to the engine sounds of this Prot and Whitney. <laughs> and with that, See you on the next Aeronautica video. Dos vidania.